Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in Pro Show Producer, and I'm going to show you how to put one of your wedding photos inside the antique frame found on Wedding Essentials Volume Number 2. And we're also going to put a background behind the frame, so we're going to be using the background that's called Antique Lace. So let's go ahead and drop our photo into a slide. And I'm going to go ahead and set the slide time to 10 seconds. Of course, you can set the slide time for however long you want, but I'm going to set this to 10 seconds. And I'm going to double click to open up our slide options. Now the next layer I want to add is my antique frame. So let's go ahead and bring in that frame. And after I get the frame in there, I'm going to go under video settings. And I'm going to check this box on, right here where it says looping, loop video until end of slide. Let's go ahead and check that box. Okay, now we're going to add a vignette because we want to, our picture to show inside the frame. So we're going to cut out this right here so our picture will be inside. So let's go add a masking layer, add a vignette. And up here under vignette type, we're going to choose the shape ellipse and the type transparent. And then our vignette size, we're going to make that 31. Click OK. I go back under layer settings and right here we're under masking layer we're gonna we're gonna check this invert box and then up here under zoom we're gonna set this zoom to 66 percent see and that's gonna that does a pretty good job of cutting out the center of that frame so now we need to make sure that our picture is centered inside the frame the way we want it to look so go ahead and click on the layer with your photo and you can use your mouse and your mouse scroll to resize and reposition the photo. I think I want them right about there. And if you don't have a mouse scroll on your on your mouse, you can use the zoom control over here under layer settings. Next, we need to add our background. So let's go ahead and bring in that antique lace background. And after we have that in there, we're going to need to add another vignette. So let's go under Add a Masking Layer, Add a Vignette. And once again, we want the shape to be ellipse, and we want the type to be transparent. And this time we want the vignette size to be 2.5. And we'll click OK. And once again, under Layer Settings, under Masking Layer, we're going to check this Invert box. And we're going to set the zoom for this to 85. And that ought to do it. So let's click OK and let's watch this in action. There you go. Have fun, everybody.